Hey gang, welcome back to another Victoria Events with Caleb Shaw. It is Monday, November 1st. Hope you had a good Halloween. Hope you enjoyed that, that First Responders Day that Warriors Weekend did. That was spectacular. Well done, guys. Um, on that note, you can tell I'm joined by two lovely ladies this morning. And so let's just get right into this. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. If you wouldn't mind, please introduce yourselves. I'm Patty Lowry. I'm president of the Port Lavaca Art Guild. Yes, ma'am. I'm Claire Santiana, president of the Victoria Art League and owner of Crossroads Art House. Now, I'm pretty excited. You guys reached out to me about this event, and, and I hear this is a special one, a pretty big yes, event. It is. Please tell me all about this bad boy. We are having, this coming weekend, we have our 50th annual Arts and Crafts Show at the Bauer Community Center in Port Lavaca. And this uh, show supports our building where we have art classes. Claire teaches children's classes. I teach the uh, adult classes. And we've actually been there for 50 years. And we're real excited about this show because it's going to be um, our first time back in two years. So we're kind of getting going again. We've had a lot of really good vendors. We've had a lot of uh, donations from the community. And we do, we still, do still have space uh, for more vendors. If anybody wants to contact me, it's this short of notice, just call me and uh, we'll get you set up. So I'm really excited. We've got all of our uh, items, they're all handmade items only. And um, nothing is buy and resale, it's all handmade items. And um, just very excited. I think it's going to be a great show. Well, let's let's break this yeah. down a little bit because 50th annual one, that's a huge milestone. And, really and congratulations. Is. I mean, how, yeah. how I, I I don't know anything or, or much that I've been able to accomplish 50 years in a row, you know, so obviously I'm not 50, but still you get the point on that. That's quite spectacular yes. and well done. For those that don't know, tell me a little bit about the, the, the Port Lavaca Art Guild and, and what, you know, I don't know much about it. Tell me, you know. Well, I teach the, mostly, most of my students are retired ladies that are finally getting to do what they've always wanted to do. They're getting to paint. And uh, my students, I had three this year that are absolutely new, never touched a brush on canvas before. So they're very excited and nervous at the same time. Mm -hmm. But they're doing a really good job. We just finished a painting and uh, they're just ecstatic that they were actually able to do it. So it's really cool to watch somebody um, always get to do something they've always wanted to do and find out that they actually can do it. So that's cool. And I teach oil and pastel in my class. I teach on Wednesdays from 1 to 4. I charge $15 a class and that covers the studio fee. And Caleb, I do want to say how um, they are starting to have student memberships yeah. And so that's the first first thing they've ever first time they've ever tried to have student memberships. Mm -hmm. And what they're going to do with that is let the students do community artwork. Oh, how cool! Yeah. Well, one of the things that, as I can speak to personally is when we did a Meet Victoria on the nave. I got mm -hmm. to go through some of her, her art classes, and and yeah. you know I was kind of they, they put me in the kids class despite all my artistic ability, but. <laughs> turned out to be quite appropriate because all the kids whipped me and they, they did spectacular. But I will say, you know, I'll be honest, walking, there's no way you could have taught me into going to an art class any other time because yeah. I can't even draw stick figures, you know, and I, I was intimidated and I wouldn't have done it. Yeah. But that said, I was completely wrong on that and I should have done it a long time ago right. because one, they, they made it fun. Two, I, I realized how much I had forgotten and how much smarter those kids were than me because <laughs> talking all the primary colors and the way, you know, she was like, how do you make green and all the kids answered I was like I don't recall and I got schooled by all these little these uh, kids but, purple. But, but very quickly I found myself in you know I'm slightly competitive and and I I wanted to put out a good picture and I I found myself what was supposed to be kind of a joke for the shot turned into a serious thing and I was over there with my paint brushes and I was passionate about what I was doing and, you did good. and it was actually kind of like I, yeah I mean they did throw me out it was it was it was neat and I mean the kids did still whip me because they were better but it, it was a lot of fun and, and I would totally do something like that and I would encourage people to do it step out of your comfort zone and 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 get out there and, and have fun because it, it it quickly changed into I like this and mm -hmm. I want to do good on this and it's, not just be silly and, yeah. and it was it was a ton it's of fun. It's therapy almost. I mean my classes especially, you know, it's like just we you're not too many places that you actually get together that much anymore and just to be able to go there and, and uh, we we pretty much vent. Yes ma'am. <laughs> during our classes and just enjoy the time together. Uh, and and creating something at the same time. So it's really neat to watch um, One of my new students that she told me she just gave her piece to one of her kids that and Dedicated it to one of that had just lost her aunt So it just it's it's the feeling that you're doing something like that that really has meaning 
you know, yes, just somebody well, art, for so Art can long. unite us, and it, it, you know, I've we've I've been working with Free Art Victoria on on some projects here, and mm-hmm. one, I'm just marvelled at the talent, and but but two, mm-hmm. it's. I just enjoy being around people and I find that these are groups of people that may not be in my normal circles that I end up getting to hang out with yeah. and, and, and right. enjoy their company. And yeah. um, But I want to get back to this, this arts and crafts show, mm-hmm. uh, because I'm not the best arts and crafts guy, so I don't know a ton about this stuff, but I like the fact that you said everything here is handmade, handmade. by local artists in the area. Like, Only and handmade, yes. Roughly how many vendors and, and stuff did you say you guys have We coming? have about 40 vendors now. Yes, ma'am. And uh, it's $5. It's $5 fee to get in but that covers for both days and you will have a uh, every hour we have a door prize wow. so you you know and that door prize is, is what the door prize is is we uh, we give I think it's ten dollars and you can spend it anywhere in the room is what we do for That's any of the fun. vendors but our biggest thing this is our biggest thing is we actually have this year Whataburger was fantastic they donated a huge basket to us this year um, and it's actually got 52 Whataburger coupons in it. <laughs> and that's <laughs> and it's just the start, too. Of, yeah, a lot that's of other stuff. That's just the start, yes, yeah, ma'am. A lot of other stuff. So that's, and we're going to actually raffle that. You mind if I kind of peek at no, I noticed no. here, you know, a Whataburger yeah. gift bag. You know, guys, it's South Texas. Whataburger's kind of our thing. <laughs> and I was looking through here, and, you know, a Whataburger wireless speaker, reusable bags, water bottles, socks, <laughs> plush T-Rex. Uh, <laughs> who Did doesn't need, I mean... Water you need the plus T Rex. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but seriously, my son's got a little shirt that my wife picked out for him, and it looks just like the Water Burger thing. She gets so mad at me for pointing that out. But sunglasses, all, I, I would totally want to win this. In fact, if I, why don't you just sell this to me right now? Yeah. Call it clear. But no, fifty-two coupons, and how can they put in to, to win this? Uh, they need to come to the show, and we're going to be selling tickets at the show, raffle okay. tickets at the show. So, um, I'm not real sure how we're going to do that yet. I think. We haven't really discussed that yet, so I can You know, I, that, I, so. I bet you Miss Claire's got an excellent idea. <laughs> she's got it all figured out. She's, she's the reason that said we're going to raffle, because we have a huge silent auction also. Yes, ma'am. And we've decided the bigger items, and then I have a painting that I'm going to donate, a big, a pretty good-sized painting. They actually, it's the one that, that won, uh, the copy of the one that won Best of Show at, at the wow. Victoria Art League this mm-hmm. week, well this done. year. So, uh, well so. done. Well, how can people go and where is all the information that they can look up for this, or if they want to reach out as a vendor? How do they find you? All that good stuff. Um, so on the Port Lavaca Art Guild Facebook page, of course, we'd appreciate you know the likes and shares. Um, there should be an event on there that's going to be um, for this, and it'll have all the information. And it's going to be at the Bauer Center in Port okay. Lavaca, which is off right off of the main road. Thirty-five by Penn. Good deal. Yeah, so yeah, there is a yeah. Facebook event page. For for this event, mm-hmm. okay, good. Oh, on and there. it's by the beach, so you could go shop and then go <laughs> and to then go walk the beach. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's actually cool enough to, to do yeah, so right yeah, now, you know. Yeah. And, and so, yeah, enjoy that while you can. Well, ladies, yeah. what am I forgetting? Is there anything we haven't discussed? Any hot topics that we want to punch on here? Anything that, that I haven't gotten to? I don't think so. I think we've got it covered. Good. Well, Thank ladies, so I certainly do appreciate it. I. Uh, I hope I win the Whataburger gift basket. That is pretty spectacular. But above all, I, I, I commend you on what you're doing. This is Thank really you. a great way to support artists and the community and, and to bring all those worlds together. Yeah. And so yeah. I, I commend you. Yeah. I appreciate the hard work you're doing on all of it. And, and Thank you so much for stopping Thank by the show and seeing us. Thank you for having us. us. I appreciate um, it. Yes, ma'am. Guys, we will take a quick break and be right back with our next guest. guys and welcome back as you can tell i'm joined by two new guests you probably know them already but just in case you don't i'm going to ask him to please introduce themselves hello victoria my name is lauren mo i'm the public safety community affairs manager for the city of victoria good afternoon my name is tom legler i'm the assistant chief fire marshal for the victoria fire department first off both of you guys thanks for coming on i i appreciate the hard work that you all do in the community and and, and helping everybody and i was pretty excited about this one when i saw it because i've gotten a chance to to work with our firefighters and, and do an episode of Meet Victoria with them and, and they're awesome. Like I, they're awesome. You know, I, I I'm the son of a cop and so I, I love the good rivalry between the cops and oh, the fire, yeah. the friendly good rivalry. <laughs> yeah. But 
but I'll, I'll tell you, the, these guys have earned my respect. And so when I saw this event coming up, I, I really wanted to, to have you guys on to talk about it because, one, it's a huge milestone. Two, they deserve all the praise and recognition that's coming for this milestone. And, and three, it's just, wow, this is cool. So I know I, I sold it for you. And I, I, I set it all up and, and probably left you nothing to talk about. But tell me about this event coming up for those that don't know and why I'm so excited. Sure. So on November 6th, we are having our 150th anniversary celebration at Station 4 off Salem Road. It's a free fam family friendly event. Um, we can't wait for everybody to come out. We have cake, we have retirees, we have antique trucks, um, foam party, all kinds of stuff. The um, helicopter's coming, Jaws Alive, Man. free, free um, Kona Ice. Yeah, it's going to be super fun and just very lighthearted and a great celebration. And so for those that, that haven't been to a fire department, A, this would be a good opportunity to, to see one and, and to shake hands and to thank everybody. I learned that some of the, the oh, what is it, the stereotypes of the whatever about firehouses aren't necessarily <laughs> yeah. true because I, I was looking forward to doing the, the, the old pole slide from the second, <laughs> yeah, no, you know, to slide no right pole. down and, and hopefully kind of like Batman where I start, you know, without it. And by the time I hit the bottom, I'm in all my gear and looking <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah, there's no pole in this Yeah, one. and there yeah. wasn't a Dalmatian either. Yeah, I looked no. at, and I did not see a Dalmatian either, but that was replaced and, and by just a bunch of stud men and women firefighters they were just awesome in there and, and right. they were so awesome they didn't even need the dang pole so <laughs> that was that, that was something else but so if you wouldn't mind uh, you know talk a little bit about the history that got us here i mean 150 years that's that's a big deal and and you know i i've been so blessed to to get to know you guys through you know the last couple of years and stuff and one i've just i've been blown away by the professionalism and how awesome your, your team and your 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 people are because like i said we did that episode of me victoria and, and they they welcomed us right in they let me put out a car fire they i rappelled out a window and a big old burly gentleman you know took me out this window and <laughs> rappelled down with me and saved me and um but one they 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 took great lengths to make sure i was never injured never you know they let me have fun and 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 do stuff but also kept, kept a careful eye on me and were in charge the whole time and but it was just it was very humbling to be around a bunch of men and women that, that will run into a burning building mm -hmm. and will run in there to save you, you know? And, and it was just, I sucked at it. And like, I, I thought, you know, they- they a special person. Yes, ma'am. And they put me against a, a, a rookie and, and to, to do the gear and get all the gear on and I got stomped and, and I was really trying and I got stomped, you know? And, and she, she beat me with a big old smile on her face the whole time. And, I bet and it was it was pretty bad. But but again, they were they were just awesome. And so I want to commend you on your people and your staff and, and how good everybody was. And again, if you wouldn't mind, tell me a little bit about the history of Victoria Firefighters. Well, up until uh, 1870, there were some volunteer bucket brigades, but there was nothing really organized. So in 1870, the city actually authorized the fire department. And it was actually formed in 1871. Um, and they bought a used hand pumper a hand-drawn pumper from Mobile, Alabama, and that's what they started the department with. And it's gone through and they added companies as they grew. Uh, there were multiple firehouses around downtown, um, and in fact two or three actually downtown at one time, where they'd have one truck at one place and, and one truck at another. And they went from horse-drawn hand pump uh, fire trucks into mechanized fire trucks. Yeah, they, and the, the, the schools, I'm mean, um, just assuming, have, have greatly evolved it also from probably, what I'm guessing, just a bunch of volunteers show right. up with their buckets and, and start doing stuff to, now, how long is you all's academy now to, to, to do the fire academy and stuff like that? Uh, fire academies now, do, we do, the way ours is set up, it's on the weekend, so it takes longer, mm -hmm. uh, but typically that'll take uh, in a, a semester length, wow. uh, just because you're going every Saturday, so that way somebody working a regular job can go to it. But there are other ones that you can do Monday through Friday, and, and you can knock it out in six weeks or seven weeks. So. Well, and, and one of the things, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm the son of a, a law enforcement officer, and, and so, you know, I, I've always grown up carrying guns and stuff like that. And, and boy, I do not envy you guys with the gear that you have to wear. Like, I'll, I'll take a plate carrier and stuff like that any day because that day we were filming, it was so hot. It was so humid, even first thing in the morning. And, I mean, I'm sweating now, and it's pretty cool. But, you know, when I got out there, I was like, we're, we're going to put all this stuff on right now? Like, are you guys serious? And, and they were. And mm -hmm. they put it all on, and none of them, you know, batted an eye. And I about died because it was so hot. And then after we put on all the hot stuff in the humidity, we had to go in and around fires. And I, I know that's kind of what y'all do, but <laughs> it was real hot. Like, it was real hot in there. And, and, and again, they never batted an eye. They kept moving forward. But it was one of those things that when I walked out, I, I was humbled because, wow, that, like, no part of about, about that is easy. And, and 
you gear up and you put all this stuff on and you rush into danger with so much gear you can hardly move to save somebody that you may or may not even know. Mm -hmm. And it, it just, I, I walked out of there with just a whole new appreciation for them. And, and, and again, I, I think it is well earned that you guys are having a 150 year anniversary. And I, I think it's neat to, to see the growth. And you know, as Victoria grows and new subdivisions come in and we expand out, to see these new firehouses. And, and there was a, a time when my ladies were going in from the office and, and cooking at the firehouses and making them breakfast and lunches. And, and they just appreciated the, the kindness of the, of the firefighters and the, the time spent with them. And because they were also passionate about their community and, and they were just also, that is our community, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, and so again, I, I know I go down these rabbit holes of just making sure you guys know how much you're appreciated, but you've earned that. And, and 150 years of service in Victoria you know, I'm sure there's been countless saves and countless, you know, fires put out. And, and so just a, a sincere thank you from the community to you guys and, and for all you do. And, and you have our support and, and you have our backing. And, and again, thank you. Thank you for what you do. Is there anything that, that I, with all my thank yous and stuff, <laughs> that, that I have not given you a chance to talk about that we want to get to? Um, well, we have two antique fire trucks coming for sure. Okay. One of them is actually ours from 1923. We, we, are, we have a 1923 Seagrave, which we just had finished re a restoration process on. So that'll be coming back uh, November 3rd. So it'll be there. And then another one was a 1954 fire truck that a private collector owns in Dallas. And he's actually going to bring it down here for us. And... Uh, display it and let it drive and it's in running condition as well so he wants to go take it out and drive it a little bit as well yeah, so we're yeah, excited that, that, we had people reach out to chief fox actually after we put it on facebook we do have a facebook event if you need the details again and he actually drove with a truck so him and his crew are, we're hoping that they show up because it'd be a great moment that well it, it is and and you know Victoria, in a lot of ways, does things right with, with honoring our heroes. And I know last week we, there was the, the first res, National First Responder mm -hmm. Day at, at Parkway Church. And my son loved watching, you know, all the patrol cars and the firefighter, the, the, the vehicles come in. And, and it was, but as a parent and as a community member, I also stood there proud. And, yeah. and to be, you know, you are who you surround yourself with. And when you, when you look around at that place and you're surrounded by patriots everywhere, surrounded by heroes everywhere you're surrounded by these american and texas flags like it that was a special deal last week and and again i hope you guys felt the love from the community and 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 know how much you're appreciated and and i think this is awesome one more time it is saturday november 6 12 p.m victoria fire station number four 2000 salem road 2007 salem yes. road um what else am i forgetting just come out. It's come free. Out. It's family friendly. Um, we'll have a formal ceremony, I guess, between 12 and 1230. And around 1230, the helicopter will land in front of the fire department. And then we'll have a bunch of interactive stuff for all the kids. So it's going to be great. Can we take test flights on the helicopter? That's not up to me. Okay. I didn't know yes. if y'all needed like, <laughs> no. somebody to be the guy or sure. something. I, I would volunteer. But uh, no, that's spectacular. And, and again, if we can do anything to support you, let us know. Um, Thank you, sir, for all that you do. Guys, you. make sure you get out and support this event. Show up, uh, shake their hands, let them know, but also spend a little time with them. You know, take your kids up there, let them, let them see what heroes look like. And, you know, and, and the way we make sure that we have a new generation of heroes is by honoring our current ones and making sure they feel that love. And so get out there. Again, you, you're not going to find a, a, a nicer bunch of people besides the fire, you know, other than the firefighters, maybe the cops. I, I don't know, depending on where you are. <laughs> but, but, but you guys are great, and thank you. And, and uh, guys, we'll take a quick, blah, 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 blah. we will take a quick break and be back with our next guest. There we go. See you in a second. Since 1932, Walton Volk has been closing mortgages and doing it the right way. And the reason why the Volks opened up a bank um, at the height of the Great Depression was because the bank needed to be opened at the height of the Great Depression. And it was good for the community at that time. A lot of the banks were going under. In order to keep that community sound and stable, it was something that they did. I think that that says something about who Wallach and Volk was 85 years ago. And the only way you get to continue to do it is if you consistently do it great. And we plan on doing this for another 85 years. Guys, we are back with our final guest. She's a favorite of mine. I always appreciate her passion in the community, and, and that's just, for all the things she's done, to me, it's, it's her passion that really sets her apart and, and, and why she's, 
she's just such a genuine person because everything is 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 from the heart and from her soul and so i i appreciate you for it but for those that don't know please introduce yourself <laughs> sure um bethany castro i'm the executive director of perpetual help home um that's the event we're talking about today um but <laughs> i wanted to ask i don't sorry i, I get a You've also had a, a recent job change, yes. and so let's um, talk about that a little bit, and okay. then we'll get to this. Sure. Last Monday was my first day um, part-time. I am now working as the executive director of United Way, which is also super exciting. So doing part-time at both right now, literally every other day. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to be doing that until we really get somebody on board at Perpetual Help Home. I love Perpetual Help Home, and I really want to make sure it's in the right hands moving forward. Well, it is a it is a special place, and, and congratulations on the job change. Thank you. you uh, like I said, your your passion has always been contagious, and and you you light up rooms that you're in, and oh. so I I oh, make me blush. No, but it's you know I'll, I'll tell you one of the benefits of this show is I get to meet a lot of people, and mm -hmm. I get to and what's what's neat is it's often people that you know our circles are different, or our thoughts are different, or yeah. our politics are different, or all these things, and you're one of those people that shows that none of that matters because <laughs> you 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 know there's things that we're alike on, there's things that we're different on, but. I enjoy every minute with you, and it's it's because of your your passion and your your contagious. And so I I think people made excellent jobs having you in or excellent decisions having you in both of those places awesome. because you, you have enough passion for both of them and and well done. Um, and but, I enjoy speaking to you too. Well, thank we you. I have great chats. You know, we're solving all the world's <laughs> problems and and you know one one talk at a time. And yeah. so, uh, but but congratulations, seriously, I, for all you do and and you know it. You're, you're appreciated, and so thank you. Um, talk to me about this event right here. Make them laugh. I, I need to laugh. It's time to laugh. Talk to me about this. And it's guaranteed laughter, I see. So, yes. I mean. I really had to weigh if I should put that on there, but after I saw this guy, you know, we have to kind of screen some some videos and Oh, stuff. yeah, you have to um, watch it. I was like, he is hilarious. So we're featuring comedian Marty Simpson. He's okay. nationally recognized, you know, not a not a huge name, but he does travel a lot of circuits. Mm -hmm. And he's really well known in the um, what's called dry bar community. So um, so clean comedy. You're not gonna ah. you're not gonna walk away from there feeling gross, right? Got like, it, got like, it. Ooh, I don't know if I should have just listened to that for an hour, right? So um, So we won't be cutting any Dave Chappelle specials right now to <laughs> no. just get everybody on the internet talking. Right. Okay, nope, so this will no. be family friendly comedy. Family friendly, yeah. Okay. And and so that's a big goal of ours um, for, for running this Make Em Laugh show. It's been going on yearly, um, except for last year, um, for about Was something years. going on last year? That, no, I'm kidding. Go ahead. Um, um, poor Marty and, and his agent, you know, they were all set up to perform at our um, April 2020 show. And they've worked with us and been so understanding to move it, like, literally for a year and a half. So um, I'm so excited to have him here in Victoria. So he's a dad. Um, which you know a lot of comedy comes from that teenager dad now mm -hmm. um, a former teacher and former coach and so um, and being both of those myself I'm like oh my gosh there's so there's much so <laughs> many stories and jokes there it right. can write itself there's a lot of uh, you know really good uh, stuff to work with and so um, so he's just super super funny um, so we're gonna be having him out on Thursday November 4th at the Community Center Dome we wanted to make sure we had a really big space so people could spread out um, and just trying to make it an affordable event, so 20 bucks each. Um, come out, have a really good night. Um, we'll start off the event with kind of, I guess I'm the MC officially. Watch <laughs> out! Uh, I know. Putting um, Brother Gary on notice there. <laughs> you know, you got an event, you, you call her now, you know. <laughs> so you can put I, Brother I, Gary out of business. No, Shame on you. He worked his buns off at our Taste of the Town, and so, um, you know, don't want to bother I'm him. I'm surprised too that much. man has any buns left at all. <laughs> like, he's all over the place. Like, they, it should be bunless, you know, Brother <laughs> Gary is. Moses. And the way he carries his suit jacket in his car. I just love it. And I does love it him. all without social media. <laughs> like, I. You know, I'm struggling to like my page, follow my page, share my page, all those things, and Brother Gary Moses just kicks my butt without it. Yes. Way to go. Way anyway, to go. I'm sorry. We got, we got <laughs> distracted. Um, so we'll start off with just a little intro to what Perpetual Hope Home is. We'll have a okay. short film um, just kind of explaining what we do. Um, we have some kind of influencers from the community that have really known about Perpetual Hope a long, a long time, but that's like 10, 15 minutes max, and then we'll get into the fun In 30 part. seconds, sure. Perpetual Home is what? Tell Tran us about it. Sure. Transitional Home for Women. Um, those who are homeless, they, they were coming from a variety of circumstances, abuse financial hardships, um, homeless for whatever reason. And they, they come to us, live with us, and they start working so they can save money and get back on their feet. And they can take care of themselves from now on. Outstanding. Well done. <laughs> well done. Good to know. Sorry, I wanted a quick little no, for sure. deal on that. And so, um, <laughs> I'm excited for this. So, <laughs> he is coming in, and this is set up for Thursday, November 4th at the Community Center. Mm -hmm. um, 
I bet you're only are you're able to charge twenty dollars each because you've got some good sponsors for this thing. We do. Um, yes, I'm gonna reference my list. Yes, so I please don't do. Anyone. Please do. But our big um, ticket sponsors were Victory Kia and Victory Buick GMC. Um, they've just been wonderful to us this year, so super thankful. Yes, um, And then we have um, seven others: so South Star Wealth Management, Prosperity Bank, Gulf Coast Car Wash, KMH Wealth Management, and Keller and Associates. Crossroads Bank, Victoria Automobile Dealers, and Office Systems. And so we're hoping that they send out, you know, their crowds, and um, and so they'll get the seats in the front. Sorry. Um, yeah. And then after Fair that, um, we just really tried to. Um, really try to target churches and the church audiences because they give back to Perpetual Help Home so much yes, and we want them to come out and have a good time. Um, and again, clean comedy. My husband and I went um, to a comedy club not too long ago and I was like, I guess I'll go with you. And when we walked out of there, I was just kind of, you know, you just, <laughs> I know, like literally I'm sure my face was red the whole time and, and you know, it's not horrible, but it's not something where, you know, I want my mother or my Nana to go to, right? And so this guy, I know that we're safe with. <laughs> you know, I, I've been to a comedy show one time, and I think it was in Boston or, or something. I don't even remember. And, and and my wife and I got into some, I think we were, like, arguing over, like, the food. I, I don't remember. It was one of those that's, like, we were just kind of, like, did it, did it. When we walked mm -hmm. in and we sat down, and I was I was pouting about something. And of I'm course, sure yes. I, was, I was completely right, <laughs> and, and my wife was completely wrong or whatever it was. But, you know, I was sitting there pouting about something, and, and the show started, and... We had pretty decent seats, and I guess my pouty face or something. Oh, no, they I was the guy you. that yeah, I was the guy that the dude made fun of for like oh, the no. next ten minutes, and I I was at least smart enough to not try to go back and forth with the guy right. that had the microphone. Um, but yeah, I I was the That's let's make fun of that dude, yeah. and, and and my wife was like, yes, he deserves <laughs> it, and and I did deserve it, truth oh. be told. But but it uh, I'm so I, I'm glad that that that's good to know. I. That wasn't the best show. I mean, he was funny, too, is what was even worse. Like, right. when he was bombing on me, he was actually funny with it. Right, and, like, and, darn it. Yeah, like, I, I wanted his jokes to bomb, and they didn't. <laughs> and so, yeah, not cool. But but uh, anyway, so let's get back to this. Sorry, sure. I get excited. Um, me, too. Yeah, it was a cool event. And, and I'll, I'll tell you, I, I think it's time. I, I We need these events. We need to pull people together. People need to be fellowshipping together. And, and it, you know... I, Numbers are safe. It's time, you know, and, and and so good on you for bringing this thing down. Give me the where can they find it? Are you on Facebook? How do we sure. find all okay. the stuff? Do all the stuff. So we do have a Facebook event. It, I'm pretty sure it's called Make Them Laugh 2021. Okay. It's through the Perpetual Help homepage. If you need another way to search, um, you can purchase tickets in person at Victory Kia or Victory Buick GMC for 20 bucks. Um, but also online, our website's phhvictoria.org. Um, or at the gate. We're gonna have door. Uh, we're gonna have some tickets available. I'm sure. Um, I'm going to have seating for 300 people, and we have about 230 tickets out right now. So I'd love to fill that um, all the way up and just really have a really nice time. Um, two things I've forgotten is we are going to have a silent auction, which okay. I love silent auctions. Yeah. <laughs> I thrive mm -hmm. at silent auctions. You get some um, good deals on those sometimes, too. <laughs> like I, I've won some, some cool stuff on those silent um, auctions. So we have, like, you know, we have a really cool variety of things, like a, um, a package to Outwell Pass. Um, we have some Kendra Scott earrings and necklaces. And um, the really cool thing is Astros Foundation sent, like, a signed picture from their manager, Howard Baker. Um, I, I don't know his first I, name. I will be honest, I'm not um, much of a baseball okay. guy, but that sounded good. I, I mean, think, it, the I think that was series it. Right I, I know, and, and um, yeah. And the other big thing is that 5D Steakhouse is going to be there to provide drinks for the night. So they'll, be, they'll be available for purchase. Um, and so they have some really cool things on the menu. Good deal. Well, thank you for all you do in the community. And, and guys, make sure, make them laugh. 2021, um, this is a cool deal. Support it. it we need some laughter in the community. Everybody yeah. <laughs> needs to, to tone it down a little bit and, and laugh and, and have some fun. But it's also for a good cause. $20 each. Uh, Thursday, November 4th, 7 to 8.30 p.m. Victoria Community Center Dome. Uh, once again, to help Perpetual Help Home Restorative Justice Ministry. You can get tickets at Victory Kia, Victory Buick, PHH Office. Perpetual mm -hmm. Help. That, that didn't that click sense. right away. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Perpetual Help Home. And... Uh, also online. online and at the event. Yeah, I mean, we're making it super easy. Yeah, I mean, that, you, you're running out of excuses <laughs> to not go there. guaranteed laughter. Guaranteed laughter, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I'm already laughing. Well done, mission accomplished. But again, thank you, congratulations on everything going on in your life and, you. and the job change and all that stuff. I'm very happy for you. And again, appreciate what you do in the community. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate your support. Um, we'll see you next week at the next... We will see you at the next one next week or at next. Well, week. I hope I see you Thursday. Next first, show, but, we'll be there. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to Victoria Events with Caleb Shaw. Make sure you comment down below, like the post, share the post. It really helps the algorithms. If you haven't done so already, make sure you follow our page. 
If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. And if you have an event coming on you want featured on Victoria Events, shoot us a message. We'd love to help you get the word out there. Lastly, make sure you support our sponsors. We could not do this show without them, so we're very grateful. Thanks so much, Victoria, and we'll see you at the next one.